وأقول في القرآن ما جاءت به آياته فهو الكريم المنزل وأقول قال الله جل جلاله والمصطفى الهادي ولا أتأول A question I asked My husband is forcing me to take his name What should I do? الحمد لله رب العالمين له الحمد الحسن والثناء الجميل وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له يقول الحق وهو يهدي السبيل وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله صلى الله عليه وعلى آله وأصحابه والتابعين لهم بإحسان إلى يوم الدين أما بعد It is not permissible for a person to attribute themselves to other than their original attribution يعني you're not allowed to attribute yourself to other than your father Islam has prohibited a person to attribute themselves to other than their father. And this is prohibition is by unanimous agreement. It's a consensus amongst the ulama. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he said, Ud'uhum li aba'ihim hu aqasatu inda Allah. Fa illam ta'lamu aba'ahum fa ikhwanukum fi ddini wa muwalikum. Wa laysa alaykum junahun fi ma akhtatum bihi wa lakin ma ta'amadat qulubukum. Wa kana Allah wafura rahima. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he says, call them by their father's name. And call them and attribute to them their father. So if you on my name, for example, Abdul Rahman, and my father's name is Hassan, I'm going to be called Abdul Rahman Hassan, and not any other one, any other person's name. The Prophet Sallallahu he said in a hadith, Al-Imam Muslim narrated, Tirmidhi narrated, Ahmad narrated it as well, min hadith Ali ibn Abi Talib radiyallahu ta'ala anhu, the Prophet, he said, man idda'a ila ghayri abihi, aw intama ila ghayri muwalihi, fa'alihi la'natullahi wal malaikati wal nasi ajma'in. لا يقبل الله لا يقبل الله منه يوم القيامة صرفا ولا عدلا. This hadith mentions anyone who calls himself by other than his father's name or attributes to himself other than his master's name, then upon that person is the curse of Allah subhanahu wa taala and the angels and all of the people. Allah تبارك وتعالى will not accept from that person any righteous deeds. Also another wording uh, which Al Imam Al Bukhari and Muslim both narrated. And Abu Dawood and Ibn Majah wa Ahmad Min hadith Sa'ad ibn Abi Waqas and Abi Bakrah radiyallahu ta'ala anhuma That the Prophet said Man idda'a ila ghayri abihi wa huwa ya'lamu annahu ghayru abihi Fal jannatu alayhi haram Anyone who calls himself and attributes to himself other than his father And he knows that this is not his father Then jannah is haram from him Walidhalika there's many Muslims Who when they get married And uh, they have a uh, the woman get divorces from her previous husband and she gets to know a new husband. Uh, so what she does to the children is that she forces those children to refer to this new man that she, get, she got married to. She forces them to all go back to him and say father, daddy. And sometimes they may even attribute that, that the, the, the children to that new husband of hers or her, her new husband. And the question as he, uh, uh, as she has asked, that her husband is forcing her to take the name and adopt the name of her husband. And this is wrong. She shouldn't obey him in it. You're not allowed to obey the creation in that which is disobedient to the creator, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But if the wife, for example, documentation wise, she's attributed to the husband, but it's clearly stated that this is her husband. So she's called Fulana. Zawja to Fulan. Okay? Fulana, who's the husband of so and so. That's no problem. That attribution is fine because she is the, uh, the wife of so and so. That is permissible. Or if there's any other means that are taken in your country which clearly shows that this is just a husband and not a father figure, or it's a custom in your land that the, the attribution is done in a certain way um, and it's not father and daughter or the attributing yourself to like a father, uh, then that's fine. Because the qaida is, فَإِنَّمَا يَجْرِي بِالْعُرْفِ يَجْرِي بِالشَّرْعِ If this is custom, by custom it's known that this attribution is just a technicality between a husband and a wife, and it's not taking your name, sorry, removing your father's name and putting his name in that place, and then you're called the daughter of then this is not allowed, it is not permissible. Well, ilmu عند الله knowledge is with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. 
وآخر دعوانا أن الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وإخوانه إلى يوم الدين وسلم تسليما سبحانك اللهم بحمد أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله أستغفرك وأتوب إليه If you have any questions you'd like to see answered as part of this series, then you can email us at questions at amau.org.